to the cloud. Okay, so my last um, webinar before, I have got another one next week for the Motive Wave crew, um, but this is my last official webinar before Christmas and this year. So um, hopefully we can cover quite a lot today. Um, main thing I want to concentrate on is the expert because uh, that's taken it to, hi Trevor, that's taken everything to the next level. Um, and, you know, we, we're just getting some massive trades right now. Uh, and I, I'm just going to repeat some of the same things about support and resistance zones because they're really, really critical here. I'm going to start with, uh, I traded this, so I put it in the Discord group uh, and managed it in the Discord group. This was New Zealand dollar, US dollar this week. Um, one of the things I wanted to discuss first, remember, <clears throat> when we're day trading, whether it's Forex or futures or even stocks, we go to the 60 minute time frame to put these main support and resistance zones on. But we also have to consider short term support and resistance as well. Now, you don't need the brains of an archbishop to see this range bound period. Kept knocking on the door of the main resistance zone there, but also one, two, three, four, five, six tests, seven tests here. Okay, that is obvious. Okay, um, that is an obvious short term support. There is another one here, but that's just one pivot. Okay. And then if we go back left, there's another one, two here. Look, so for me, I'm just if I've just got one pivot, maybe, but if I've got a you know to look for a target zone, major pivot point here, two big rejections. These are short term over the last few days, no longer. Okay. So remember, look, we're getting we're getting signals. But they're not going. We're getting long and short signals on the X bracket. Going, you, know, you don't go long into resistance. You don't go short into support. But finally, finally, we get a six-star sell that actually closes below this uh, short-term support zone. Okay, quite simple. Entry then is below the low of that signal candle. Stop is above the pivot point. And then we work out the risk to reward. And that's one to two to that major, what well, say major short term support zone there. Great risk to reward. Okay, I'm going to do it. Goes in, let it come down, always has a bounce. Then once he starts to move down, trailing stop, risk free, locking in a bit of profit. Um, you know, when it hits there and starts to find support and starts to move away, just take the profit, walk away. Really, really simple trade. Don't have the link yet, Trevor. When they send it through, it will go out in email anyway. Okay. Yes, Heinz. Uh, when it's a 24 hour con uh, contract, so with Forex and futures, when you're using the expert, you need to use the high Kanashi so we get the averaging candles out there. It works phenomenally with that, okay? And I'll give you an example. On the strategy analyzer for Xbrat for Ninja Trader, back testing Xbrat algo strategy between the 31st of August, so for the last three months, okay? RTY on the three minute, okay? Net profit, 7,165, that's trading one contract, okay? Um, drawdowns are quite big, but this profit factor is huge, okay? For short trades, 1.11, not fantastic. One, 150, 1.5 it is very good. 2.94 for the long trades, average 2.45. So fan, really good uh, profit factor there. You know, we've got a gross profit of 12, 12 grand uh, in the last three months and a total net profit of there. So if you were to set this on the automatic strategy on RTY um, for the last three months, just trading one contract, short and long, three to six star, you would be up $7,165 right now. OK, hi, Vic. Um, just I love this strategy analyzer. I'm looking at, 
you know, the total number of trades, uh, 45 trades, percentage profitable, 71.11, you know, number of winning trades, 32, number of losing trades, 11, number of even trades, two. You know, this is really good, um, really good. Uh, you know, ratio average, win average loss, 0.84. I mean, these, these are really great figures. The largest winning trade, 5,330, huge. <laughs> so these are really, really good. I mean, I'm, I'm going to play with this a little bit during the session today. We're going to look at stocks as well. Uh, so this is just one contract traded because I've put the um, entries per direction. <clears throat> and, you know, one contract on RTY, for example, is worth, is it six, uh, $6.25? I don't trade it that often. Um, but it's fantastic. You know, we've got some big drawdowns here on the short trades. 845 is the biggest drawdown. 1,240 was the um, sort of average uh, drawdown there, max drawdown. But, you know, in net profit is the main thing that we're looking for there. So six star is the highest value. Um, so what, what it does is the, the expert algo, basically, I had somebody, I spoken to somebody, you know, my trading brain is uh, 17 to 20 years old now. And um, I'm getting a little bit old. So I use 12 different points of control reference points. And when they're all on the chart, I'm get, I start to get confused. I start to miss trades. So I wanted to automate something because I like to grade the trade as well as look for those signals short. So three star is the is the lowest value, but they, they can get you in really early. And six star is the highest of grading for a, a long or a short. But remember, this six star long met my criteria but I'm going into resistance. So I wouldn't take it at Heinz, okay? What I'm looking for during this period, the, lo the only longs I'm interested in, if it breaks out here, the shorts I'm interested in are the ones that break this short-term support here, okay? Really short-term support, and that's the one. We're gonna do some uh, more examples there. So <clears throat> you can change on the strategy analyzing, again, you can change to say, uh, you know, to be honest, some of the three star signals go a long way, but if you just wanted to take six star signals, let's run it. I've not had a look. Okay, so you'll do less trades. You'll only do 24 trades. Um, the profit factor is roughly the same. Uh, you'll only make two and a half thousand dollars net profit compared to what it was before, five and a half thousand. So, you know, the three star trades are still good. You just need to get a good enough risk to reward um and um you know for, you know basically fresh air so you're not going into major support resistance i mean we can look at apple for example on 120 minutes for the last three years shall we do three years so let's go to let's go two years otherwise we'll be here forever won't we January the 1st, 2019. Okay, run. Let's see what happens. Okay, $5,000 over the last two years. Not bad on Apple on the on the one 120 minute time frame. Not bad, still profitable. Um, again, you, you can mitigate against those if you were not if you were in a main bullish trend, and we'll talk about some of those um, later. If you've got a main bullish bias, you just wouldn't take the short trades. Uh, in which case, then you you know you're looking at seven thousand dollars just on Apple trading one share, okay, one share over the last two years. Um, you know, just very very simple. And let's have another look at uh, ES, uh, three to six star. We'll go three minutes over the last two years. Let's have a look. I mean, obviously the pandemic pullback is going to alter the data there. Hey, net profit of $33,712 over the last two years, trading one contract ES using the X-Brad algo, you know, both long and short. Uh, the profit factors, 1.41, you know, the, the golden star is 150. Anything above that is spectacular. But hey, look, $33,000 just trading uh, one contract for the last two years using X-Brad algo. 
NQ, let's have a look at NQ. Um, again, I haven't got light. I can't do gold and stuff on here because I don't have the data for it at the moment. Uh, NQ, let's have a look. Again, it's about finding the right time frame as well. So we'll look at NQ at different time frames and see what the $47,785 trading one contract NQ over the last two years. Okay. Uh, we can look at that over a 15 minute time frame. Remember, 40, nearly 48,000 net profit there. Okay. If we do the 15 minute time frame, it's only 13,000 um, profit. Um, so, you know, it, it, it's about finding the right time frame. You know, what was it on the one minute for those scalpers if you were automatically trading this? on the one minute for the last two years, $60,000 profit, okay, using this strategy analyzer, basically back test X Brad Algo. So NQ, one minute automated trading. Um, you got some big max drawdowns there, 11,685. So this is not, you know, this is for some of the big boys, um, but it just goes to show you, that's $30,000 a year. Uh, and then UB, I don't know whether I can get the data for that, um, I very much doubt it. Uh, we'll use ZB. I can't go UB, I'm afraid. Let's have a look at ZB on uh, maybe the three minutes over the last two years. Bonds. Calculating, calculating. This is pretty good bit of software. Well, not fantastic there, only 4,800. I wonder what it's like post pandemic, because uh, that's one of the big things I've been looking at is uh, obviously there was a big move and we've been quite bullish since the 31st of March. So I'm just actually, if I run that, yeah, it's actually made a loss on the three minutes. Let's go five minutes. But what I'm trying to show you is the, this strategy analyzer for the expert algo on um, Ninja Trader is a really great tool because you can mess around with the time frames and find the right time frame to send it on its way. I mean, NQ, if you've got a be, de, be decent size account balance on that one minute, you know, that average $30,000 a year. I mean, just, just one trade. Uh, so really, really cool. Um, any, anybody else? Let's look. Anybody from Europe here? Yeah, okay, so let's have a look at the DAX. Five minutes since uh, end of March. Ooh, uh, that's not good on that time frame. Let's go up. Again, I don't trade DAX, so I don't know the best time frame to trade that. Obviously, not that one. So let's go 60 minutes. There you go, 60 minute time frame on the DAX since March, $21,137 profit. <clears throat> it looks like, and the, the profit factor is almost two. Um, let's have a look at the rest of those. Percentage profitable, 72.73%. There you go. So it's the hourly time frame, and it's only taken me two minutes to find a really hot time frame to trade expert algo automatically on Ninja Trader on FDAP on the on the on the DAX futures. I mean that's not bad. Twenty one thousand dollars profit uh, since the thirty first of March this year. Uh, big drawdowns there, but hey, um, you got to be in it to win it. This you know this is really this strategy on is really good, and we're hoping to work with uh, TradingView for them to develop something similar. So TradingView users will be able to do something similar and backtest the strategy and also then set it automatically, okay? Um, so it looks like the DAX is better traded intraday. I wonder what it looks like on the 30 minute, just quickly. Yeah, I think 60 minutes probably good. Just go up to 120 just to see. Yeah, 60 minute is the sweet spot on the DAX with expert algo. <clears throat> yes, I know, it's a big boy trade. <coughs> I 
<coughs> excuse me, coughing. We'll do one more. Let's have a look at a stock. Um, in the S&P 500, we'll go for, we, we've just done Apple. I mean, not everyone's going to be good on the stocks. Um, trying to think of what AMD, that's quite a popular stock. We'll go 120 minute again, just to see, because intraday is better, I think, with the XBRAT. No, 60. And again, Heikinash is a 24 hour product. So maybe we just go to uh, the minute, go to five minute on AMD and run that and see what happens. No losing, okay. So you can soon find out whether a stock is gonna be really good. I mean, I don't day trade stocks, so I'm not uh, au fait with timeframes that are really, really good uh, for particular stocks that move. If we go to the day, one day on AMD and we go back a couple of years, let's go back three years to January 2018 or December. There we go. So do, 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 one day AMD, three to six run and see what's swinging. Like, yeah, yeah, profitable. Yeah, on the daily. Sometimes you need to go longer out on those. I mean, look at the profit factor there. 3.93 for the long trades there. Total number of trades. This is where, you, you know, over three years, 10 trades using the XBRAD algo on AMD on the daily time frame. Only 10 trades, yeah. 70% win rate uh, average. Uh, and, you know, we, you know, there was $3,795 per one share traded. Okay. So really good. Okay. I'm not going to explain everything there because it is my secret source. Um, but what it starts off uh, by looking at is um, the very starting point is looking at a stochastic MACD cross. That's the very start. And then I start to introduce a combination of uh, EMAs. <clears throat> I then start to look at other types of indicators that I've used in the past, but not on the default settings. And what that does over the years, I've learned, right, this would, uh, you know, if if this, 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 this all 12, or past this point, then this is a six star. Okay. If it's 11, it's five star. If it's uh, 10, it's four. If it's nine, it's a three star. So it's about combining uh, indicators, EMAs, um, clouds, and I've developed a cloud, just one cloud uh, that's adjustable uh, that will be um, actually releasing soon as well combining those to look for the longs and shorts. So, you know, a very simple example would be um, when you, you see the stochastic MACD cross here, here and here, you still get, the, you won't get the six star. You need all of the stars aligned with all these EMAs, the, the clouds and everything like that. Uh, I use special channels. And then once it pops out of those, it prints three, four, five, six star buys or sells, okay? Uh, but I won't go into what I exactly I use, it's my secret source, uh, but it works. And the, and the strategy back test there goes to show it really does work. I mean, we did um, gold yesterday, it was huge, okay? Traded this, by the way. We need to go to the five minute, I think, wasn't it? So this was the big trade yesterday, really big trade. This is worth $2,700 per one contract traded on gold. So you're going here during, you get the, the five and the six star sell uh, going into the towards the European Open, 8 a.m., which is here, is the European gold pit open there, okay? So when I get a five and then a six star sell, I'm going to go short just below there. Okay, I've got a resistance, a support zone down here, quite a small one. Let's talk through these trades from yesterday. Uh, again, you need to understand what's going off in the trading day as well. When the gold pit opens, when the market uh, opens, pre-market action in the US, that sort of thing. 
Uh, but for this one, very, very simple. I've got, um, I've got the European gold pit open at 8 a.m. Okay, just here. It fails to push up. We then start to get a five star sell, okay, at 8.40. And then at nine o'clock, that candle, which is the European um, stock market open, when that candle closes, I get a six star. So for me, that's good. Markets are open. What's the risk to reward? Let's just change that to green. Oops. Risk to reward is over one to 3.5 to that support zone. So I've got fresh air, yeah? It runs down, we get some data, gold bounces up, take profit once it goes, try and go through my cloud here. I, I actually um, trade it manually, Heinz. I trade it with my inner circle every day, okay? And this is a prime example. So what it does is it's on your, you, you know, you're trading gold. You're looking, uh, you know, during uh, 1420 here is the gold pit open for the USA. There's, there's you know, this, this is pretty cool stuff. That, I mean, sometimes a gold pit open, um, you know, you don't get a catalyst, but you're looking for catalysts. I'm looking for an entry. I get a six star buy here. That is at 1430, okay? Usually a data point. So uh, an hour before the US market's open, I get uh, my stop loss is gonna go below this pivot here before those um, signals. And then I just put my order on, you know, I'm looking to, to go long on gold just above that there and you see the risk to reward is over one to four here uh, and this goes from 1840 and the trading stop was just below here i've still got it on the chart 1867 that's 270 points uh 270 ticks ten dollars a tick two thousand seven hundred dollars okay really great trade there they probably happen once every 10 trading days or so. I mean, sometimes it's twice a week. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's try, you know, you don't know it's going to run. All you can do is go by these signals that print on the chart. Okay. And then you just go again, little short in the morning, made a few hundred bucks. And then the long in the afternoon uh, was the major trade. And then we're going into today. So today we did trade gold, but it really didn't move a lot today. We've got four, four and five, uh, four, five and six star buys here, but we're in resistance. We've got to look for trades going out of that resistance. Okay. So we did, I think we ended up probably 25 ticks on gold today. It wasn't a big mover today. We had the big move yesterday. So yes, you can trade it manually. One more I want to look at, and that's platinum. I just want, I did a video on this recently. Uh, and I wanted to show you, um, let me go back. Okay, so remember, I always do the linear support and resistance zones on the hourly, yeah? Now I'm also using this, uh, the FIB fan <clears throat> to help me understand these pullbacks. So I'm going to go, the last time I was oversold was down here, just, just basically before these five and six star buys on the 60 minute time frame. I've got these linear support and resistance zones, but all of a sudden it goes from my last one and it makes an all time high. I've got no linear support and resistance zones to help me here. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna use the FIB fan. I'm going from the low to the high and I can 0 0.25, 0 0.382, 0 0.5, 0 0.618. Look how the 618 has held. We traded platinum today, but the volume, the, I tell you some of the volume was very low today. Uh, I think we got in with a five tick slippage. It went up 20 ticks, came down. It was gapping everywhere. We ended up just taking 10 ticks profit and getting out because it was very, uh, the volume was very low. But I just wanted to show you this fib fan is really, really useful when you get instruments uh, that hit all time highs or you know, highs of the year or something like that. And especially when you, you've had uh, an expert algo on this higher time frame here. And it's just kept going through and it's hit your last 
resistance zone and there's nothing else it pulls back but look how it's holding on this here so when you go down then to the smaller time frames say the five minute here okay you start to look for trades yeah now with this one these are pretty simple <laughs> i mean to be honest uh last week we did trade platinum did do very well um but look we push up through this we come up we come down we then get a six star buy, yeah? What do you do? You go long, there's a lot of fresh air above there. Okay, entry, there's your six star buy. You've got a pivot point here recently, so that's gonna be your entry. Sensibly, you'd go long above this pivot point, even though the six star buy is here. Your stop is going to be below the pivot just before the signal candle. You're then going to put a risk to reward on there. Okay. And there you go. There you go. There you have it. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> the main thing for me is here, um, if you didn't get in this first trade and you did and you got out of break even, hey, you get another chance. You get a five and a six star buy here. So all you do, if you're in it, you add to your contracts here. If you want to go aggressive, you go at this point. If you want to go conservative, you go here. Okay, just above that pivot. Stop loss is here. Adjust the risk reward. There's your entry. There's your stop. And there it just keeps going. Okay. Tiptoe trigger, pull back, fib fan, support, boom, 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 boom. Then look at it come down here, find support on that fib fan. Uh, I, I mean, Heiken Ashi is pretty simple to use. Um, I've never, I don't use uh, Renko, to be honest, Heinz. Uh, I found that Heiken Ashi is a very, very simple averaging candle that works out very well. So, you know, if we just go to uh, Ninja Trader here, go to futures on ES, remember this isn't live data, um, go to data series. So we, uh, let's have a look at Renko, shall we? Uh, what Renko brick size sh uh, shall I have? Need two, five days, no, let's go 10 days. Brick size two, Heinz on Renko. Is that good for day trading? Four, okay, let's go four. Let's apply, I've never used it with Renko. There we go. Oh, Lordy, yes. Oh, nice six star trade there. Again, I haven't got support and resistance zones on here, so I'd have to put those on first <coughs> before I would look to uh, get here. But you see, you see it's printing, you see the, the, it's printing here, uh, there. But again, you'd have to uh, test them just on Renko to see which works. I mean, if we look on Heiken Ashi on the same. Here we went to Heiken Ashi on the three minutes. Let's apply. It didn't know us. Five minutes. Nice shorts in there. Let's go back to a normal chart a second. Okay. I always find when I just tried those Renkos, it upsets all the candlesticks then. <laughs> Let's go to, I don't know whether I can get gold and it will do me the, uh, uh, bear with me. Sometimes I get lucky and it, re, and it loads some of the older data up with gold. It usually comes up with an error message. Yeah, see? 
because we only have this for development really so we don't need live data to um to do it i'm just going to let that run a second to see if it comes through what i wanted to do is just have a look at a stock at the moment just to go through uh what i mean by when i was looking at that strategy tester i was looking at um you know, maybe some of the shorts didn't work out so well. Maybe if I'd have just took or taken longer trades. And when you when you're looking at stocks, you're looking at daily or weekly time frames. You're trying to find the direction of the main trend. And I, a, a lot of you know, I'll use channels for that. Um, you know, this this is obviously a bullish stock, so I'm only looking for bullish type trades really. We're going to the daily. I want to look at this recent channel here, and I'm going to put that channel on. I'm going to draw that channel uh, RSG. Uh, I'm going to draw this channel in here. I'm going to take the tops as my reference point here to draw a channel in. One of the biggest things for me with a channel is the center line. Not many people really take notice of that but that's your mean point and that's where you should have more touches than the actual extremities so with these extremities here for example we are looking at two touches at the bottom we've got one two three four five touches at the top but look at all this clustering around here center line this is a really strong non-linear support and resistance zone, okay, on the daily. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> some of the timeframes um, that I found work extremely well on stocks are uh, divisible into the trading day. So 39, 78, 195 are some of the biggest time, some of the timeframes I look at. Now you look at 78 minutes and how the extra algo give signals within this channel, okay? Going back to June, yeah? And what I mean by signals are, uh, when we're testing the midpoint, the top of the range uh, of this channel or the bottom, six star buy after finding support on the midpoint, okay? All the way up to the top. Five and six star sell after testing the top, comes down all the way down here. We get five and six star buys here. We wouldn't go along until we got through this center line, but then it just keeps going. We have a pullback. We get a six star buy. It goes all the way to the top of the channel. Test the top of the channel, five star sell, comes down, finds support here. Okay, up, six star buy, support. Comes down to test the bottom of the channel, five, six star buy, all the way up to the top. <clears throat> so, this is just an example using a stock, okay? You can do the same for futures and for Forex. If you understand the main direction of the trend, you probably wouldn't trade the shorts. You would only look for the longs, which will reduce your losses, okay? <coughs> I do, yes. Uh, the, the recording will be on the websites, Alan, and, uh, and there'll be a, uh, an email going out. Um, so with risk to rewards, it's very simple. I look for fresh air. Okay, so if I just go back to the daily a minute, let's just work through this, okay? I'm looking for major support and resistance zones first to look on the daily. So if I'm looking here, I've got a really good one. It's going to draw some zones in here. Got really you know, a quintuple top there and those lows. See, we got some support there, rejection there. That's a major support and resistance zone in there. Have we got anything lower? We've got some short term in here, probably around about there. And then obvious one is these previous all-time highs here and have we got a pivot there no 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 okay so going back to this go back to the 78 <clears throat> now so I put those in I didn't know where there's going to be I just put them on the um... okay so we've got five and six star this is the latest trade five and six star buy we get those just after it's pushed through a support and resistance zone yeah 
So to work out risk reward, or, or you know, I do very simply, I look at the previous pivot point, it's tested this channel, that's my stop loss. Where's my entry going to be? I get a five star buy here. I'm going to go above that candle, that five star candle. I'm going to get in early. That's my stop. That's my entry. Now, two, two points here. Both the five and the six star buy signals. OK, so shop trader, these are the signals OK, printed on the chart. Just recently, I've been going very aggressive stop loss on the pivot just before these entries. It gives you a lot better risk to reward and you can go risk free quite quickly. Uh, so risk reward, use the FIB extension tool, click once on the stop, second time on the entry, third time, drag it along the entry. OK. And we've got a one to 2.5 to the linear support and resistance zone, probably a one to three to the top end of the channel there. Great. You know, Heinz, do you, that's a great risk to reward, is it not? Okay. Um, looking left on this 78, we've probably got a little bit of an issue about 1.6, but me, I like the minimum risk reward of one to 1.6. It's way over there. When it goes, it goes for it, it pulls back, finds support and goes again. You then adjust your stop to here. OK, let it go. Let it go. Get earnings. Do you want to carry it through earnings? Yes. It's in a bullish trend. Last earnings has been really good. Let it go. Gaps up. Boom. Take a profit. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's, this is just an example. I, I, I'm looking at this at the moment because it's pulling back and I want to see where this pulls back. And I'm looking on my 195 on my 39, on my four hour uh, and on the daily uh, for a pullback and whether that's an Elliott wave pullback or I get, um, you know, an expert signal. That's why it's in blue in here, because these are the ones I'm looking at right now. OK, um, I'm in TMO right now, for example, uh, I'm on an Elliott wave trade with that one, um, you know, um, CTX set. CTXS I'm in on this one and uh, coming up to resistance, but I'm risk free. Uh, Cisco, this is doing well. I got 50% profit uh, times uh, risk already locked in here. This is my trading stop. It's just about to punch some new eyes on this move. Uh, but again, this was an extra algo signal. Uh, so I'm in this with my inner circle and you know, I'm looking at this five star buy here on the daily. Uh, it's breaking my support and resistance zone. Um, I'm looking for an earnings play. I get that big gap up on earnings, closes near those highs, get the five star buy. 41.68 was my entry. OK, <clears throat> it's pushed up. It's through 50 percent profit times risk. I'm now not just risk free, but I'm locking in profit. So ten thousand dollars risk on this trade. Here, I'm now $5,000 in profit with no real risk of it gapping down because we're having a good move from, from earnings. Uh, the next thing for me is trying to close this gap would give me a one-to-one -one trade. Uh, so this is a good looking trade. Again, this is this is me trading my expert algo um, on stocks. Let's just go back to, uh, no, it didn't load up gold. Do apologize, it's just not uh, working. So let's go Forex. Uh, GBP US dollar, British pound, can't beat it. I want to open up a new chart. That's annoying me. Now, I'm still learning it. We, we developed it so when you buy it, Heinz, you get it as a strategy as well as a um, as an indicator. So you can use a strategy analyzer. So this is new to me, automated trading. I have literally been trading nearly 20 years and I've done it all manually. And even this ex Brad Elgo, I was trading with 12 different in, uh, indicators. <laughs> so, um, you know, these were um, you know, the idea was to take away that, clean the chart up and get the same decision making, but get it automatically. 
but then then that prints that's fine now to put it into automated trading strategy i've developed it first for an injured trader because it, it has the best strategy analyzer uh, so once you once you've bought expert algo it will be available as a strategy in there and it's just about for me i'm still playing with this okay i'm still looking at um, for example if i'm going to where is it now trading hours so if i'm going to be trading es for example i have found and we'll do this here um, I found that using only entering after the US stock market is opening, but letting it go good till close is the best way to trade this. And this is just by using this strategy indicator. So this is ES for the last three years. Uh, that's we've got to change that to let's, let's change it to Renko, shall we? Renko four. Let's have a play. Yeah. Yeah, you can trade it 24 seven, but I found that entries that only enter after the stock markets open are a, we have a better win rate, but you can let them then go through the 24 hour period until the trading stops taken out. OK, uh, this is taking time to actually calculate that. So we'll go back to that. Um, so let me just. Go back to the data series a second, because I'll just want that on, say, 10, 10 minutes for GBP US dollar. I'm going to add the indicator, the x -Brad algo. OK, so ES, Renko 4, last three years. We've got an average profit factor of 1.73. Remember, 1.5 is a gold star standard. Uh, trading one contract, uh, $9,237.50 profit. Okay. RTY is calculating faster, is it? Okay, let's have a look at that. Run that for a second. Um, I need more data here. This is the thing with uh, 30 days. So with Renko on RTY, okay, it's still profitable, but it's not as profitable as ES. Let's just change that to Heikenashi. Let's go to three minutes. Remember, $1,700 net profit on RTY using Renko. Let that do its calculating. Wow. Okay. Yeah. GBP, US dollar, 10 minute Heikenashi. Look at that, sh those short signals there. Absolutely huge. Again, I haven't got support resistance zones on the X, so don't use it. Uh, right. $31,000 profit over the last three years, RTY using Heikenashi. It was 1,700 using Renko. Heinz, are you going to use Renko or Heikenashi? <laughs> the, the data doesn't lie. I've just run the same instrument for the same amount of time, same opening periods, good till close three to six star buys and sells, but I changed it from Renko four to Heikenashi three. I've gone from $1,700 profit to $31,000 profit. This is why I'm saying Heikenashi I found is the best for four, you know, for Forex, for, for futures, that sort of thing. Okay. Uh, so yeah, this is what it looks like on, on, um, Ninja Trader, you can change the size of these. So when I go to the indicators here, I can change the font size to, I don't know, 26, if you like. 
uh, can change the buy side to medium spring green, and I can go red on the, um, or crimson on there, and click, uh, click apply. There you go, look, just you get them bigger uh, if you want to, if you're a little bit short sighted. Um, yeah, five star buy there, it's pretty good. Pull back, there's the pivot just before the five star buy. Didn't take the stop out. Pull back, pull back, good. Simple. Okay, that's Cisco. Time we got, time we got. 15 more minutes. Okay, guys, uh, questions from you. <clears throat> do I still use roller coaster and bits? I certainly do. I use bits today. Okay. Where are we? What was it on? Silver, platinum, or copper? Everything's been pretty flat. So I used bits on copper today to get a trade. Um, it was pretty ugly copper today, to be honest. But I combined the bits because it gives me the, the increase in volume here with this bit signal. But I also then combined it with my extra algo and the Heikinashi because I got a I got a five star buy here as well. And when you look on this uh, with this Heikinashi type candle, uh, this five star buy here, I was going above all of these pivots here. So when you go to HG here, I'm getting uh, a I'm getting increasing volume. So I'm getting that bit signal, and that's that trade above there at three four nine one zero was our entry. Okay, so but uh, again, so I do use them. Um, but I use them for different market conditions. Um, I'm more likely use the roller coaster to manage trades now more than anything, Trevor. So if I'm in, um, if I'm in, let's just go to gold. Okay, let's put. Have I got it on here? No, let me just put it on. Well, bear with me a second. Okay, so as you can see, I, well, I did, I used the roller coaster to, um, to manage this big gold trade. Yeah, that's the, if I just get rid of the EMA cloud a second, that's the roller coaster there. Okay, now <clears throat> one thing is some of the roller coaster trades do look very similar, but it does filter out some of the crappy ones as well. Okay, so don't that you know these ones here, this six star buy, you don't go into there. So what I've done is, if you just hide the roller coaster, if I now go to EMA Cloud, okay, I've developed EMA Cloud separately, and it will go on sale on a new marketplace that's going to be open up for trading software in the next week. Uh, just just you use the cloud and with the cloud, you can change it to uh, the idea with the EMA cloud is 21 when on day trading, when you have a big parabolic move like that, you can use a 21, but you can also use a 34, which is more conservative if you've got slower moving moves. Okay. 34 um, or 21. If you've got a parabolic move, you're going to go to 21. Yeah. But if you've got a, a, a slower move, you're going to go down. What's, what's been slow recently? 6E, okay? <clears throat> so you can see here with the 34 EMA, it comes to test this 6E move down here. I don't know where the signal was. I've got a, I don't know which time frame. Uh, so there you go, look. So there's the 34 EMA. So usually with currencies, uh, I'd use the 34. But with metals, I'd use a 21. So this is non-linear support resistance, the EMA cloud. Uh, so you come down, you come up to test, you get a six star sell, you sell. It comes up to test the 34 EMA cloud, five and six star sell, you sell, okay? And then it just keeps hugging. We don't get a close above this 34 EMA until here, okay? And then you do get a six star buy, okay? Entry was just here, you'd have been break even. Five and six star sell coming back through, comes to test, comes back down. Six star buy through 34 EMA, boom, gone. Yeah. And it's really, really cool. 
Yeah, 14 for a scalp would be good. So if we go back to uh, gold, let's go to one minute. Okay, and let's change the MA cloud to 14 or even 12, to be honest. But for, let's go 14. So you see here today, scalping gold on the one minute, you get a five and six star by here. Comes up, doesn't really close below that 12, that 14 EMA cloud. Then you get another five and six star buy, comes back to test, to test, to test, to test, then finally breaks down, and that's when you get out. So, yeah, for scalping, really cool, but you've got to be one, two minutes for the 14. When I'm on a three minute for gold, I will, especially for gold, if I'm on a three minute for, for currencies, it will be a 34. Uh, but this, this is coming out really soon, okay, guys? Really, really soon, and it's only going to cost this. And it's adjustable as well. And you can have more than one on there. Um, just put that back to 21, otherwise it's gonna bugger me up tomorrow. Uh, so when I'm, when I'm looking at stocks, for example, I use an 89 and a, and a, and a 10. So, <clears throat> this is a bad example, but this is Cisco. Um, now you can see the 10 EMA being real on, the, on this daily time frame. This is the 89 support. Let's find a better example of that when I get a wave four pullback. Grub was a perfect example. Okay. This was an Elliott wave four pullback. It found support in both the linear support and resistance zone and the 89 EMA cloud. My entry was here. Boom. Yeah. No, it didn't. I can't uh, put the support and resistance in the analysis, Vic. Um, okay, Heinz, that's good. We use the same thing. The, <clears throat> what I can't do at the moment, Vic, is find somebody that takes my trading brain on how I put these support and resistance zones in and turns it into a bit of software. Because you know me for a long time. You know my support and resistance zones are very, very sticky. Okay, I've been doing it a long time. I can draw them uh, and they can just send them out to the right and they will always be sticky. Um, but I can't find that. So when I run this strategy tester on RTY in the three minute after over the last sort of three years, I've got a great win rate. OK, I've got thirty one thousand dollars profit over the last three years for RTY just trading one contract. But it doesn't take into account those support and resistance zones. So, no, it doesn't do that. But don't worry, I will find someone to uh, to do it. So we, you know, but I don't see it as rocket science. But some people see it as freaky stuff. That, you know, when I do these zones. But um, if I go back to the gold trade again, and I go to the five, uh, even I've got a fifteen minute. Look how sticky this zone is once it gets there. Okay. It hits the 34 and just finally pushed through, but then it's come back down. It's sticking to this zone. <coughs> oh, straight triggers. <sighs> Freaking awesome. You know, if you were doing it manually, for example, back testing, um, if we go back to ES, for example, and we just do it from. Um, from March, since the pandemic pullback, April 1st, three minute, $31,000 profit trading one contract. No, we won't be doing it for TOS, because TOS might be gone in a, in a year, Vic. We've got it for TradingView, Ninja Trader, it's being developed for MT4 right now. It's also being developed for um, Motive Wave. The thing is with TOS, we can't protect it. And this, this, is my, this is my intellectual property. And with TOS, you can't protect it. So there's absolutely no way 
I am giving it to all these people that rip it off and try and, try and sell it on eBay, which they've done with the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. And I've taken two to court and got it taken down. But I am not going to do it for TOS anymore because it's open source and people and there's crooks out there. OK, so uh, TOS is going uh, anyway. So I won't be doing it for TOS. The future is trading view for me or, or, or Ninja Trader. Uh, Motive Wave I've been playing with recently. It's pretty cool. I quite like it. But this, I mean, look at this. Since the beginning of April this year, trading one contract of ES on X Brad Algo automatically without the support from Sissons, blah, blah, blah. $31,000 net profit. Awesome. Okay. I know this strategy works because I've been using it manually for years. But now I can get it just to print the signals and give it a grade, which is which is really, really cool. Uh, it's not, I mean, this, uh, this is Motive Wave, by the way. Um, I'm not, I've only got roller coaster and bits on there at the moment. I've just been playing with it today. Uh, it is, it's, it's quite a good, the, the candles are 3D. I don't know whether you know that or not, but they are the 3D. Pretty cool. Okay. Any more questions from you guys? Okay, I've done a lot on the expert algo today, but for me, this is going to overtake everything. I will always still use the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. Why? Because it gives me those great swing trades that I really crave and I make good money with. Okay, so I'll always use the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. But the, the Expra algo takes out some of the thought process that you need when you're trading roller coaster or bits, and it gives you extra comfort in grading the trades. And all you need to do is do your sport resistance zones. So, okay, let me just do this earlier wave and then we'll talk about false breakout stochastic. Uh, let me just look at that. Uh, one or two. Okay, right. I I know this trade well because I traded it within the circle. It's been great for us. Um, so let's just move uh, to let's make the false breakout a little bit bigger here. Okay. So that you don't have to get the Elliott by next week. Even even if you haven't got the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, you can buy this for one hundred twenty nine dollars. The false breakout stochastic. What it does, it tells you. When you're getting a, a, a criteria of false breakouts, not all the time, like this point here, you don't get the yellow dots. But in these points here, you get yellow dots in the overbought zone during this third wave move. Okay, this denotes a really strong bullish trend. And you'll see here, it didn't cross over in the oversold zone. Really, really important here. So when we get a wave for pullback, and the stochastic pulls back against these yellow dots and crosses over in the oversold zone on this wave for pullback. We're getting support at one of my linear support and resistance zones. The wave falls pulled back into the green zone. 85% probability is going to get hit the automated uh, fifth wave target zone there. False breakout is perfect. It's pulled back against those yellow dots. It's like an elastic band. It wants to return to that bullish trend, if you like, Trevor. Uh, and so that's the perfect setup. And there it was, fifth wave target hit. And it's come all the way back down. And guess what? It's testing my linear support and resistance zone again. Uh, the Elliott wave is also already available for uh, trading view. Is that what you're talking about, Kim? The, the or just the uh, the EMA cloud, the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, or the EMA cloud, or the False Breakout Stochastic? Which one? Xprat is all already available. Okay, I'll give you the link in the chat now. Already available on. Um, Uh, just bear with me, Xprat. So it's on my website, uh, the trading view. Uh, 
and I'll put it in the chat now. So the expert algo is available now, right? <clears throat> you can lease it, but you can also buy it for life for $699, which sounds a lot. This gold trade yesterday was worth $2,700. That paid for nearly four lifetime licenses. Okay. So some people think, oh, can, can I get a free trial? Or can I, can I just pay it monthly? And, and I'm, I'm thinking, it, I, mean, I, I had one guy that buy it for, bought it for life and he, he, he traded NQ, won a couple of thousand dollars uh, and he was all, you know, return on investment straight away. Yeah. Um, so it's either 699 for life or $59 a month. Um, but, you know, you only need one of these trades a month. Um, to pay for it for life and then it's yours. You just keep using it uh, and trading it. You know, in this one day, I think it was about three and a half thousand dollars per one contract, just in this one day trading. So yeah, that's definitely um, available now for TradingView and for Ninja Trader. And then MT4 will be coming soon and so will Motive Wave. Any more questions, guys? Before I go. It's whiskey time. It's 7.30 p.m. here. I, no, I, I don't have a trade room uh, for the general public because it's just a complete nightmare. And, you know, I, I got a life. I have an inner circle that trade with me four days a week uh, and they are also take part. Uh, they, so they swing trade got blend investing and they trade futures with me uh, four days a week and that's $12,000 a year. Okay. Um, so, and there's 15 of them. Uh, I think a couple aren't renewing at the end of this year if anybody's interested, but you know, I don't do it with the general public because it's a nightmare. Uh, I vet people that apply for the uh, inner circle. I chose, charge them $12,000. Uh, for the whole year, and they trade with me four days a week. Uh, not just futures, but obviously the swing trades as well, like this grub here. This was a big winner. Um, we've just had recent trades on tree. We traded this short here. Uh, we've been in and out of shop all the time. Zoom, we got in Zoom at $131 and sold it at 500 and something uh, this year. No problem. I will, Trevor. It will be going out in the emails. Um, thank you, Hugh. Uh, when I think it's the 15th, it is Motive Wave, uh, but it will be going out an email this week. It does, Hannah. It does. You can set up alerts. Uh, so when you go to the alerts tab here, you will see... Um, So in my alerts tab, I can set up alerts. So I've got um, buys and sells, six star buy, six star sell. Um, so I can set this up on the five minute, okay? I go to add a new one. I got um, expert algo. I want to say six star buy, once per bar close and um, send an email notify an app, all that sort of thing. So it literally sends a buzzing thing to your app on your phone there, and it tells you you've got a six-star buy on gold. Really, really simple. <laughs> so, yeah, it's uh, very, very cool. You see, I've got 300 uh, alerts set on this one. I've also got another premium account with my main account on there, and I've got... Um, 322 alerts on that account as well. So hopefully that helps. Have a great Christmas, everybody. Great holidays. I'm going to have some whiskey, actually. Um, thanks, Trevor. And I'll see you all in the new year. No problem, Kim. Take care, everybody. Hey, Martha, thank you. Thanks, Heinz. Merry Christmas, Juan. Feliz Navidad. Thanks, George.